Hey guys, Will Patterson here again and here's another Illustrator CC tutorial and today I'm going to show you something really cool about Illustrator. Basically, uh, in Illustrator CC, we can draw things a lot easier. Now, this means that we can draw flourishes like this a lot easier. You can draw text like this a lot easier. Now, I drew this flourish, I'm just going to separate it from the art. Um, and this flourish here is basically done all on the pencil tool on a mouse, which is ridiculous, or should I say a trackpad, because I've got it from my laptop. Now the smoothness of this was just done in one stroke as well, and the rest of it, I went and edited within the uh, adjustments tool of the width tool. So I'm gonna go into a new document and show you exactly what I mean about this. So here I have a new document. Now I wanna to go to the pencil tool here, the hotkey is N, and basically if, you've got a, if you've got a, a graphics tablet, sorry, um, you'll be able to draw stuff with it and it'll be very accurate in the drawing. So you could like, um, I'm not going to draw anything smart, smiley face or whatever, um, and it'll be very accurate. But if you wanted to draw anything smooth, it's a bit harder. So sometimes you have to resort to going to the pen tool uh, to get these smooth curves like so. Um, so we don't like mess it up or anything in the pencil tool. But in Illustrator CS, uh, CC, sorry, in Illustrator CC we have um, a couple new options. So if you double click on your pencil tool there, you'll see, uh, if you double click here, sorry I didn't make that clear enough, uh, if you double click there and go to the pencil tool options, you'll see we've got like this box. And in previous Illustrator versions, we can see that it has a fidelity uh, slider and it has a smooth slider. Now in Illustrator CC, they've come computed this together, they've sort of added it together so we have it in one. So what I have it set here is the default and I'll just make sure because I'm resetting it. Um, but what we want it to do is if you don't have a graphics tablet you want to make sure this is all the way up to smooth. Because if you don't and you're trying to create a nice curve with a mouse, this is me using a mouse now, it is ridiculously hard and you get all these lumps and bumps. Then you'll have to like use a, um, the weird smooth tool thing. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and bump this all up to smooth. We don't need to change any other settings in this dialog box, just press OK. And then now if I wanted to create something smooth, it would smoothen it out automatically like so. So instead of using the pen tool, you can smooth this out automatically. And say if I made a mistake or something, or if I didn't want a certain curve like that, all you need to do is draw back over it like so and you can just do that and it's an amazing tool and this works within only Illustrator CC at the moment uh, because it's like a really good tool so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do like a flourish so if you want to do a flourish here you would just go ahead and with the smoothness of it you'll see it there working like I'm just gonna make sure we have a point here going in and out and out and then we have our path. Now with this, I'm just going to go ahead and press Shift and W. And I've shown you this before in a previous video. Some of you might not have seen, but I'm going to use the Shift and W so I can go ahead and use a width tool here. And we can use it here, which will give us a thickness here in this anchor point, and then it gets thinner down here. And we can adjust this throughout the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and change. Uh, the settings or the values within this stroke up here uh, I'm going to change it to round so it's a round cap so it looks a lot cooler and then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit here because I want to make sure that it's all working okay so right here we want to make it a bit thinner and right here I'm going to double click on this value and I'm going to change the width to zero so then it goes out into literal nothingness and it looks pretty cool. I mean that doesn't look as good as what it should be because uh, maybe we need to go ahead and edit it so it's here that it comes down a bit more. Actually no, this is what I mean, the flourishes are quite hard to do because we want to mimic, um, we want to go ahead and mimic something. So what I'm doing now is I'm just pressing shift and W to get to um, my um, width tool, which if you don't know, you can make things bigger and make things smaller. And you can do really cool things with it like so. So you can create flourishes like this, which look nice, it's like a little flower brush. 
And then um, that is basically just done within the pencil tool. Now I'm going to create another one. So you can create anything at all, really. You can create a hat. Let's create a hat, that one side of the hat. Let's go ahead and uh, transform, reflect, copy. You can create like a sort of heart figure here within an illustrator, which looks really nice. And go ahead and draw these all up, I guess. Like so. I was doing this to make it a lot easier. Just drawing these two up here. Just go ahead and take that away. Delete them too. And basically, this is. And join them together pressing command J and that is a really easy way of creating a heart within Illustrator now that is with the pencil tool and the pencil tool I didn't understand how powerful it was but now looking at it you can create awesome things really quickly within Illustrator now um, and I'm just going to see if I can whip this up a bit what value is that double click on the value copy the value to over here you see you can literally just create amazing things with an illustrator now uh, and it's really good fun and then basically what you want to do with this is you want to go ahead and expand it um, to object path outline stroke which will make it an expanded stroke so if you did change uh, the values like I'm doing here if you did change the size of it it would change the stroke size but if you did this to expanded one it wouldn't so this is more of an advanced tutorial for you guys but um I'm sorry if you didn't understand everything that was said. If you're one of those people who are thinking, oh, this is way out of my depth, this is because it's an advanced tutorial for people who already know how to use Illustrator, maybe for people who've checked out all my recent um, new videos of like beginners tutorials and stuff. Maybe you get it, maybe you don't, but if you don't get it, go check out all my other videos and leave any questions below because this is a really, uh, really fun way of creating ornaments with an Illustrator because I'm just going to play with this actually. I realize you can do so much with these things here. So what I could do actually is I'm going to make this a lot smaller, just about here. And then I'm going to go ahead, press transform, reflect. I'm going to preview it. I'm going to copy it. We can create 3D imagery like so. We can go ahead and do the same thing, reflect them down below. And we just create some weird stuff here, can't we? Because that'll make a really nice pattern that. So basically, yeah, that is how to create ornaments with an illustrator. Sorry I went a bit quiet then. It's because I was having fun doing that because I haven't done it in a while. But um, if you have any questions about this, about the pencil tool, which is a really OP tool, and by OP I mean like really overpowered with an illustrator, um, then let me know because seriously, you'll have so much fun drawing with this because I can like, what, draw a flower maybe? Let's have a look. I mean, you'll have to check it so it doesn't go into a new layer or change a path every time. Um, but it's just so much easier to draw on here and you can create flowers and it looks nice. So yeah, sorry about that, but um, check out my other videos if you don't understand it and you guys should be able to put them into um, typography like this. Now in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to shove um, ornaments and flourishes into really fancy typography or into fancy text then I'm going to show you how to digitalize your text also I am in the process of making um, a whole sort of course within the place called curious.com um, for t-shirt designs now if you're one of those people who ask me questions about uh, how to create t-shirt designs and stuff like that then you want to go and check that out when I've put it up now I'm just giving you a forewarning it is a paid course not like you have to attend it or anything it's online but uh, it's really worth it. I don't know how much it'll be yet, but it's probably quite cheap for what I'm giving it to you. 
and basically yeah and also i am organizing a live stream and in this new live stream that i'm going to be doing you guys can go and check uh, I'm going to put some details down below or somewhere else, probably on the Facebook. And you guys can uh, donate to it. And the idea of donating to it is that if you want to uh, see your work or if you want me to critique your work, as in like show you what you could do or help you out with your work whilst I'm live streaming or just promote you, you can go and donate like $2 or whatever you want during the live stream. And I'll do it like live on air so everyone can see your work and also so i can give you some friendly pointers to it so that is a really uh that's going to be fun so let me know if you like that idea because i do um but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video which should be in a couple of days goodbye